Ross Hopping and I'm the Ecology Program Director with the Trustees of Reservations. We are a statewide land trust in Massachusetts and we are standing in a recent clearing for New England cottontail habitat at our Mashpee River Reservation in Mashpee, Mass on Cape Cod. This is a 50, approximately 50 acre clearing that we started last year to encourage New England cottontails. Our goal here was to reduce the canopy um, from what was a relatively closed canopy to something that was more on the order of 10 to 30 percent canopy, so more of an open woodland savanna, to encourage a dense shrub undergrowth um, that's the habitat that the New England cottontail prefers. There were several things that we needed to consider as we, as we implemented this management. Um, one, we were working around a rare species uh, at the Massachusetts level, and that's the eastern box turtle. So that's a species that is of special concern in Massachusetts. Um, a second uh, consideration we really wanted to uh, be mindful of was the community character and change. So even though this is a 50 acre uh, clearing essentially, most of it is not visible from the roadways. We knew we had a decent understory of diverse shrubs and other plants and we just needed to release them. These uh, black huckleberries, we have some low blueberry, some bracken fern, here's a scrub oak that's starting to come up. All of these things were suppressed so now without that canopy being there these things have just really taken off. They will continue to take off and provide that those flowers for all the pollinators and the fruit for all the other wildlife throughout the whole course of the season. And this will continue to fill in and create a fairly dense canopy. So we did this project primarily for New England cottontail because it is a species in decline. It is a candidate federal species. And from surveys, we knew we had cotton, the New England cottontail here at the Mashpee Reservation. We also looked at the landscape context of where this property was in relation to other sites that had well-known populations of New England cottontail and we felt that proximity uh, s supported this type of effort to create habitat, to make it more of a sustainable approach for maintaining a local population. This was going to cost some money for us to do this project and we couldn't do it alone. So we did reach out to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and to the Natural Resource Conservation Service to see if they could help. And indeed, uh, both did provide financial assistance. Um, in particular, the Natural uh, Resources Conservation Service did provide us with um, funds to do the initial clearing and then some long-term funds to do maintenance. We felt this was a good opportunity to really engage people, not just in the preservation and restoration of a rare species such as the New England cottontail, but the other species that also utilize that type of habitat, that early successional shrubland habitat. There's a whole suite of bird species including uh, grouse, turkey, uh, eastern towhees, uh, prairie warblers. We hope to see these things increase um, in addition to the New England cottontail. Uh, invertebrates, um, many moth species, especially here on Cape Cod, uh, do rely on this type of habitat. They are rare. Um, so we're looking at this as a, as a habitat um, restoration, not just a single species restoration. We very much want to see this site utilized. So as part of our management, we will be maintaining fire breaks. Those fire breaks will also function as a trail network. And we have created uh, interpretive panels that will allow people that do visit this site to understand why we did this, what are some of the other species that will benefit, and hopefully they will come and enjoy it and experience that wildlife and see this change for themselves and understand that this is important conservation work.